How, Walter? How? In heaven's name, Walter, this is what mankind has been dreaming of. Sam. Tell me the secret. I can't tell you the secret, Sam. Because I don't know it myself. I was like you, Sam. Afraid of death. And when I thought of all the things there were to know in the miserable few years that a man had to know them, it seemed senseless. At night, every night, I dreamed, as you dream, of immortality. Only if a man lived forever, I thought, could there be any point in living at all. I talked to priests, philosophers. Then one day, I met an alchemist, told him these things. He said that he could grant my wish, only, of course, it would cost a great deal of money. I was desperate. I paid him his money and submitted to his experiments. I remember very little about it. I lay in a coma for many weeks, and when I revived, I was alone. The alchemist had disappeared. Go on. There's really very little more to tell. I thought, of course, that the experiment had failed because I didn't feel any differently. But then, I saw my wife and my children aging, my friends dying. This was something that I hadn't considered, you see. But surely there, there's some answer to that problem. Is there? Think about it. I tell you that somehow I can stop you from aging. Where do you want to stop? At 30? Then you watch everyone around you grow old. At 70? Do you want to live forever the way you are now? Old, sick. It's better than dying. No. You're wrong, Sam. I was wrong. It's death that gives this world its point. We love a rose because we know it'll soon be gone. Whoever loved a stone. I'm not a rose. I'm not a stone. I'm a man. Very old. And very frightened. Of what? Death? Yes, of death. You're a fool, Sam. I want to die. Then why don't you? Because I'm a coward. I haven't changed, you see. I'm the same man I was. I was a coward then. I'm a coward now. I'm tired of living. In my desk, I have a revolver, Sam. And every night I take it out and pray for the courage to pull the trigger. I can't. You mean to say that you survived over 2,000 years without an accident, without being wounded? Some people are lucky that way. They go through life without ever breaking a bone or seeing the inside of a hospital. Oh, I've been close to death. Many times. But never close enough. Thank you. For what? I thought if a man lived forever, he'd grow wiser. But that isn't true, is it? You just go on living, that's all. It must be lonely. I suppose you've been married several times. Yes. How long with each woman, Walter? Ten years? Fifteen years? I see. Sam, I tried to resign six months ago. You talked me out of it. Do you remember that? Yes. I knew Susanna was falling in love with me. And I knew what would happen. It's happened before. A few years of happiness and then... I tried to warn her. I did everything in my power to discourage her. Except tell her the truth. Now, how could I do that? She'd have thought I was mad. Then why didn't you leave? Because by then it was too late. I was in love with her. I need her. 